I start, I would like to ask everyone to silence their mobile phone. Thank you very much. Dear graduates, honored guests, colleagues, and students, good, after good afternoon. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the Erasmus Mundus Master Degree Graduation and Closing Ceremony for the Academic Period 2022-2024. Today, we celebrate the achievements of, the, of graduates from the following STEAM Master Programs. Coastal Hazard, Risk, Climate Change Impacts and Adaptation, Flood Risk Management, Global Change, Hydroinformatics and Planning, Groundwater and Global Change, Groundwatch, IMETE, International Master of Science in Environmental Technology and Engineering. Dear graduates, I am truly delighted to celebrate this event with you on behalf of IHE Delft and the Partners Universities. In my role of Alumni Relations Advisor, it is my great pleasure to warmly welcome you to the IHE Delft alumni community, along with our partner universities of your programs. Today marks a significant milestone as you receive your diplomas, as well as deserve recognition of your dedication and hard work. Congratulations. Over the past 24 months, you have not only deepened your professional skills and knowledge, but you have also broadened your perspective of the world. Along this journey, you have formed strong bonds with your peers, colleagues, who have now become friends. Together, you have navigated different countries and organizations, shared challenges, and created unforgettable memories. You live here today as a richer, more insightful person. Your world world has expanded, and your mind has opened new possibilities. Congratulations. As of today, you officially join one of the largest network of, of water professionals in the world, the IHE Delft alumni community which proudly consists of over 25,000 members from more, or more than 900, 990 countries. Being part of such a global network is an incredible privilege. You will encounter fellow alumni at your home country, at work, at conferences, and beyond. As alumni, you will enjoy lifelong learning and networking opportunities. I encourage you to take full advantage of them, stay engaged and connected. Good. We have today an exciting program ahead of us, featuring inspiring speeches, and of course, the moment you have all been eagerly anticipating, the awarding ceremony. Now, without further ado, I am honored to invite on the stage Professor Eddie Morse, Rector of IHE Delft, to deliver his opening address. Eddie, the floor is yours. Thank you, uh, Maria Laura. I'm, let's see how this uh, works. Can I take this off? Somebody gets angry if I do that. I think this is better than uh, everybody can hear me. So here we're standing, and I'm quite happy that we have a full room here because uh, I don't know if you are aware. For those maybe living in the Netherlands, uh, everybody, of course, is following uh, the speech of the king at the moment that is taking place. Uh, also with the new government that's in place. A lot of things are changing there at the political level. And um, I think that uh, determines a little bit also what uh, we can do here in IG. But I also see that as an European change that is taking place. So for that reason, I'm also super happy that uh, with our partners and the representatives of our partner institutions are, are sitting here and also handing out the diplomas later on. 
but also you as a student, but also as parents and family and friends are playing a part in, in this role. And why I'm saying this and, and why um, do I think it's so important, uh, one of the very important parts uh, in what we're trying to do is uh, through the Sustainable Development Goals. And you have several ones that are uh, handed and treated by uh, what you have learned here. Um, of course, SDG 6 is a very clear one, it's about water, but also if you look at other SDGs like poverty, about food security, but also about uh, climate action. They're all related actually to what you have been learning the last couple of months. And if you then look in, in where we are as, as a world and you see what's happening around you, uh, you notice that uh, in a lot of countries, uh, both in the global south, but also in the global north, uh, we're not ready yet. And, uh, you, you've heard about the floods that are taking place in the eastern part of Europe. Uh, what happened as, as uh, something that uh, we have not uh, seen for a long time, uh, floods taking place in the Sahel zone in Africa. Uh, then at the same time, uh, when you look at uh, what is going to take place on water shortage, so desertification, and what can you do with groundwater there to solve a part of the problem? That's another, I think, important part that uh, some of you have been looking at. Last week, uh, we also had a meeting here with our alumni from uh, the small island states. And also the small island states are, are in there. So it's about uh, flood risks and it's about uh, what will happen if uh, sea level will rise more and if you get more storms. And if you look at the moment what's taking place in uh, South Asia with uh, the storms and hurricanes taking place there, they're an example of uh, what may happen if uh, the sea level will rise and if those uh, storms and hurricanes uh, will have a bigger impact uh, on the coastlines. And then, uh, of course, uh, something that's already there for a long time and sometimes has uh, been overlooked is water quality. And uh, I think, how do you deal with water quality? What can you do and, and how can you monitor it? But also, how can you improve that by water treatment uh, facilities and other efforts? I think all those are connected to one another. Yeah, so um, you have done one master's. I invite you to do three more so you can fill the full loop here. Um, maybe that takes a long time, but what I do hope that uh, you also had the opportunity to meet one another. And that's also, I think, the invitation from uh, Maria Laura. Please uh, join this alumni network from IG Delft, but also from the other universities. I think you have a very broad uh, network uh, that I think can uh, be a benefit for you and also what you're going to do in the future. And I think we need you, yeah, because uh, like uh, what I said is uh, all those changes that are taking place and challenges that we're facing, uh, we need a new, sometimes workforce sounds a little bit uh, denigrating, but it's meant that we need people in the water sector. And water is uh, not always seen as a sort of sexy topic yeah, that you really want to tell your parents. And can I see the hands of the parents in the room here? Because I met some of you, and uh, I, I think you should be super proud of uh, what uh, your son or daughter is, is doing. And I think they need uh, support from you as well. Uh, but I also think that what uh, is important that you spread the word. And I think we need more people in the water sector to help us to solve the problem. Also, um, when I lift my cap, you will see I have gray hair. The baby boomers are slowly leaving the room. So we need new people, we need a new generation, that's you, to replace us and to help us to solve those problems. But before you can do that, you need a diploma. So I will not take more time of you. <laughs> But I think we should go to the ceremony and I think we should uh, start handing out your diploma so that you can also show your family and your parents, also the people online, uh, that you really um, passed your exam and that you're entitled actually to your, this title of MSc. And I hope that will help you also in your career. So with that, I would like to give the floor back to Maria Laura. Thank you very much, Eddie. Hello, yes, yes, okay. Okay, thank you very much, Eddie. And we will now begin the ceremony with the presentation of diplomas to the graduates of the Costa Hassa Risk Climate Change Impacts and Adaptation Program. I am pleased to invite to the stage Dr. Alvaro Semedo, Associate Professor of Coastal Oceanography at IHE Delft, for a brief address. Alvaro, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, Maria. I'm almost as tall as Eddie, but let's see if this can work. So I've written speech for you, so my words are really in place. And
and um, so I shall start. Uh, dear Erasmus, Erasmus Mundus students, ladies and gentlemen, uh, honored faculty from IHG and uh, guests, uh, students, uh, family and friends, uh, all uh, please uh, be welcome to, to IHG. Uh, today marks the culmination of two years of dedication, uh, resilience and the growth of uh, this group of students. Uh, earning a master's degree is for sure not a small feat. Uh, it is the result of uh, countless hours of hard work, sacrifice, and perseverance. I often compare a master's degree or graduate school uh, as climbing a mountain. Students, you have climbed a mountain. Uh, and today it's time to enjoy the view and look forward to the bright future ahead of you. To the Coastal House students in particular, I want to say that I have no words to express how proud I am of you. Uh, looking back two years when uh, uh, we welcomed you in our program, uh, I am amazed by your progress and by your efforts. Thank you so much for your dedication, hard work and also feedback. You are now well-trained and skillful coastal professionals ready to make a meaningful impact in protecting vulnerable <coughs> coasts around the world. Congratulations to the Coastal Isaac students, but also to all of you. Your future begins now. Thank you. Thank you, Alvaro. Please stay on the stage. I would like to invite Professor Eddie Morse to join you as they present the diplomas and share the photo moment with the graduates. I will point now out names of the graduates from the Coastal Hazard IG Delta Group, one by one. Please come to the stage to receive your diploma and have a photo moment. I invite on stage Anissa Laila Ragmabati from Indonesia. not pleasant, but we are going to congratulate a Clemar Roll the Row from Jamaica. Big applause. Please. <laughs> and now I invite to the stage Maria Lisa Bellosten from the United States. from Philippines.
We now continue with our next speaker. And congratulations to the one who has been the show. I would like to invite uh, Javier Lopez Lara, head of the Climate Risk Adaptation and Resilience Group of the University of Cantabria State, to explain to the podium, please. But I told you that you were disappointed, remember? It's something like you were just right under there, you were running the program, and it was in pink colors. That turns into brown a little bit later. <laughs> <laughs> but now, I mean, this again, the honey. Okay? So I'm very happy because during your present presentation, you saw that you have obtained a very nice skill, but also you have done progress not only in the academic part, but also in the personal part. Okay? So, well, we have said a lot of things about the last week in this program, but I think this is really a big point in your life. You have met a group of people that you probably could conduct with them the rest of your life. Also, you met good professionals, perhaps like me. <laughs> And also, we met you as a student and professor, and you leave the program as collaborators and professionals of this and adaptation and adaptations. So, thank you very much for hosting for choosing this master, and it was a great pleasure to meet you all, and I hope the best for the future. And anytime, also, I'm talking about the type of NDC and also University of Algarve will be there. Also, to have you in the Thank you, Professor Lara. Please stay on the stage, and I now invite Professor Eddie Morris and Dr. Albert Alvaro Semedo to join him in presenting the diplomas and participating in the photo moment with the graduates. I will call out the graduates named from the Coastal Hazard Cantabria Base Group, Wyvern, one by one. Please come to the stage to receive your diploma and take a photo. I am by on stage Kubra Ekinsu Achi from Turkey. Abdul Salam Mayoba Basi from Nigeria. And last 
graduate from this group, but unfortunately not present, you should topic Damilola from Nigeria. Big applause for you. Congratulations to all. We will now continue with our next speaker, Professor Oscar Ferreira from the University of Algarve, Portugal. Professor, the floor is yours. It's a great pleasure to be with me here today. Uh, and uh, it is also the University of Algarve. Uh, incredibly important to me uh, at this uh, Mundus Masters. It's something that we have been doing for 20 years and for sure we'll keep doing it uh, as we can and uh, we'll try to add even more uh, Erasmus programs with it. Uh, uh, a word for the, our students, for the students that have been in this program. Uh, it was great to see your evolution. Uh, it was great for all the teachers to be with you and teaching the Algarve, I can speak for all uh, and uh, it was uh, quite important as well for us to see your presentation, taking Algarve and uh, also uh, today, uh, to see all the evolution you did, all the achievements that, uh, that you got, and you can only get them if you have passion for what you're doing, and if you have fun as well. And I think we did have fun, at least in the Algarve, it's not all this hard work. And um, what I want you, what I want for you in the future, in these new challenges, is that you put the same amount of passion and fun on what you're going to do, and I'm sure that you'll succeed. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Ferreira. Please stay on the stage, and I would like to invite, and now invite the Rector and Dr. Alvaro Semedo to show you to perform the honors. I will call out the names of the graduates from the Total Hazard Algarve based group, one by one. Please come to the stage to receive your diploma and take a photo. I invite on the stage Idogo Uselumbe Yekura from Nigeria.
your attention. First, I would like to invite to the podium Daniel Antonio Pico Trujillo from Ecuador. Danilo, you are still in the process of completing the program, although you will need a, to be a bit more patient before graduating and receiving your diploma. We wish you the very best of luck as you complete the final step toward your graduation. We also have another graduate with an extension who is not present today. Aditya Vishnu Nugraha from Indonesia. Let's take a moment to applaud and wish him the best and And congratulations to all Coastal Hazard Program graduates. Continue with the next program, the Flow Risk Management Global Change Issue Informatics and Planning Program. I would like to invite to the stage Dr. Bispa Patacharya, Head of the Informatic and Social Technical Innovation Department at IHDL, for a brief address. Hear me one? Yes. Very good. Okay. Bye. Dear graduating students, dear family members, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. Well, today is a happy day, a great day. Not only because only you are graduating, it's also the first time that uh, from Aichi, uh, four graduates are coming out from four Erasmus programs. So it's a big day also for IAG, never happened before. So I guess it's about 85 students are graduating today. So that's actually something to be happy about. I hope that these graduating students, they will use their knowledge, as Nelson Mandela said, in the new weapon to solve global border challenges. Today is also the day when we have the 11th batch of Product management graduating. Congratulations for your achievement. <laughs> but this is, achievement also comes with a responsibility, a responsibility to tackle global product challenges. As we are talking now, half of Central Europe is product, India, Bangladesh, Myanmar, Shanghai, and many other places are product. So that's enough job for you to do. And you will have to tackle these challenges and uh, I'm sure that you will be contributing to that. So in this we have about, uh, I guess about 250 graduates from progress management, uh, or products as you call yourself. And this products, so you will be, now you are now becoming a part of, or you have become a part of one of the largest networks on progress management. So please be in touch by keeping yourself uh, in the network. You learn from each other, but we also learn from each other. So we really like that you keep yourself uh, in touch. And also Maria Lola, she addressed also in the beginning. So keep yourself also in touch with the age. And when I meet colleagues in different uh, conferences, and particularly I often see that in, in Geosciences in here in Vienna, uh, I've heard about many ones talking about this program for this management and sometimes I think, well, maybe this program also has an impact. <coughs> maybe this program is successful because also Erasmus Mundus Commission of the European Commission, they have leveled this program as a success story of the entire Erasmus program and they have promoted it in various levels. But this success is actually for an entire team. And some of them are seated here from partner universities, and also some of them are from my colleagues, from headline colleagues, but also colleagues from other departments of IHE, and also other partner universities in Dresden, Barcelona, and Ljubljana. 
some of them are behind the scene, you don't see them maybe often. And in this occasion, I would also take two names at least, in Melissa and Lawrence and Kipas. I do not know whether they are here in the podium, in, in the hall. But they have significantly contributed to the successful run of this program. So the successes for the entire team, and I remain grateful for every to everyone for whatever you have contributed to the program. This program is successful only because of him. I also take this opportunity to thank the European Commission for funding. In the third phase, we have received funding, and that's why this program is running at least guaranteed for four more years, and beyond that, we'll see what we can do. As I reflect upon, also everything has something negative, something wrong, something to improve upon. As I reflect upon, I see in this program we have achieved many laurels, maybe, but uh, I still think that uh, we have not been very successful in attracting uh, many African students. So it is also one of the things that we have thought about in the coming years how to improve upon that. Maybe in the next generation we will see more students coming from Africa. Let's hope so. With this one, I know that there are more colleagues to talk and more graduates to receive the diplomas. So I will stop here. I take this opportunity to congratulate once again the graduates of Progress Management and all other three programs. Thank you all. Thank you, Lisa. I now invite Professor Eddie Morse to join you as they present the diplomas and share the photo moment with the graduates. I will call out the names of the graduates from Flow Greece IG Dog Beds. One by one, please come to the stage to receive your diploma and take your photo. I start with Colin Catalina Victoria for Maldonado from Chile. Correa from Brazil. <laughs> Juliana Vargas Guritica from Colombia. Professor Bernard Fobinkel, Chair of the Transport Processes in Hero Systems at the Technical University of Dresden, Germany. Professor, the floor is yours. Thank you. Um, dear class 24 of all your lessons in the program here at IAPW, 
congratulations to this great achievement on this very special day. Um, allow me to introduce myself, as already mentioned. I'm Bernard Bowinkel. I'm the new coordinator of the Fabulous Management and the Grand Watch Program at the Western. And also, on behalf of my predecessors, Peter Krebs and Christian Bernhofer, I wish you all the best as you turn the page and you open a new chapter in your career. We don't need to look far to understand that your study program is more relevant than ever. We have seen combinations of droughts and floods due to an increase in global temperatures because of climate change and global change and all other things. So coping with these types of challenges is likely to, to become one of the biggest challenges for humankind in the future, of that I am sure. And that is why I take pride in coordinating these prestigious programs. And you can also take pride in having accomplished this great achievement of getting this degree, because it will prepare you to help humanity to cope with those challenges in the future as well. So that's why I once again congratulate you to your achievement. I wish you all the best. And I would like you to stay in touch with us whenever possible. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. Please stay on the stage. And I will now like to invite our rector and Dr. Lisa Bhattacharya to show you for the diploma presentation. I will call out the names of the graduates from the Pro Greece Dress and Face Group by one by one. I invite on the stage Yang Aikiren from China. <laughs> Mary Book the Neil from Turkey. Paolini from Italy. <laughs> Pablo Simon, Arbelaez Vargas from Colombia. from Nigeria. Professor Alan Bateman from the Technical University of Catalonia of Barcelona. Professor, the floor is yours. Uh, it's my uh, speech. I don't know how to say it. 
We now continue with the next speaker, Professor Simon Rushan from the University of Ljubljana, Slovenia. Professor, the floor is yours. Dear graduates, I'm privileged and of course lucky Professor <laughs> Alan to address the luckiest people in the world. Uh, well, your FRM journey is coming to an end after two years. Maybe you're not aware of it, but during this two-year journey, Odyssey, uh, you became full of competence to work in any kind of academic, professional, and also, I would say, personal relations. It, it is a journey that, for sure, fulfilled you in all sorts of ways. But one thing is certain, it was also mentioned by my, my predecessor, that if you decide to work in the field of flood water management, or water management in general, you won't run out of uh, challenges, of course, also problems. Every flood event, recent flood event that, that we heard of, uh, each such event, of course, uh, shows us how our modern society is fragile to each and every such event, and how difficult it is to communicate, especially with general public, with common people, the flood risk-related problems, both in terms of the short-term and also long-term flood recovery. And I have a strong belief that during your FRM study, uh, you became full of competence that will enable you to uh, share with the general public your experience and help them to come to an agreement, to a common <coughs> consensus about the flood risk related problems. And I think this is one of the things that is maybe the most important one. If we are not able to share and communicate our technical solution that you are all familiar with the general public, then we always have a problem. At the end, I would like to seize the opportunity to congratulate you again in the name of the University of Ljubljana. Of course, I wish you all the best in your future career and personal life. Thank you very much, Professor Rujan. Please stay on the stage, and I would like to invite our rector and Bispa Bhattacharya to show you in presenting the diplomas. I will now call out the names of the graduates from the Broad Ridge Ljubljana Base Group one by one. I invite on the stage Hannah Claire Freyan from South Africa. Yawet from Spain.
I would like to invite on the stage Juan Camor Chitrakul, or Roy, from Thailand. Although you will need to be a bit more patient before graduating and receiving your diploma, we wish you the very best of luck as you complete the final steps towards your graduation. The Congratulations to all Float Reese program graduates. <laughs> we now move on to the awarding of the diplomas for the Grand Watch graduates. I would like to invite to the stage Dr. Tibor Stichter, Associate Professor of Hydrogeology and Groundwater Resources at IEG Delft, for a brief address. Dear graduates, dear professors, yes, and everyone. Uh, we are indeed at a relatively moment for four programs. Um, in particular, I would like to dedicate this, this talk to the eighth batch of Groundwater and Global Change Impact Implementation. We also call it Groundwatch, because it's a special moment, of course, for you all. And it's nice to see that you are going to join, or about to join, a group, a network of 150 groundwatchers, certified groundwatchers, who are running around the globe and uh, you know building a network, building the dreams, and contributing to this a very important theme of groundwater and global change. Of course, we know that the ecological value of groundwater is under huge pressure right, by many human practices who rely on this large liquid reservoir on Earth. It's a large liquid reservoir, but it's of course, not an unlimited resource. So preserving groundwater quality and quantity is more, more important than ever. And it's actually the only way that we can make groundwater play its essential, essential role in adaptation to climate and global change. So now that you're getting your degree, almost getting your degree, uh, you will also feel that great responsibility, as actually Michel was already talking to you. Um, telling you, it's the responsibility to apply your skills, right, in your in your in your jobs, in your future jobs, to assess, analyze, take decisions, lead the way, but also to listen, collaborate, and feel uh, how you can transfer your knowledge, share, and jointly contribute to safeguarding our present lives. It's a pleasure to be here with, of course, all my colleagues from the four different programs, and I congratulate all of you, students and staff. But of course. My dear friends from Technical, uh, Lisbon, and Tim Grayson, and all the associated partners, um, it's very important the academic support staff here at IG and the, all, the, all the partners do a tremendous job, so that it's very relevant for the success of our program. And finally, I would like to dedicate this moment to the memory of our dear colleague, Edmund Foppen, a wonderful scientist and lecturer who was very important to Groundwatch. He left this world far too early. And then you are in our thoughts, and I'm sure you'll be very proud of these students, as we all are. So, congratulations. Thank you very much, Tibor. Please stay on stage, and I would like to invite our rector again, Patrick State, to show you in presenting the diplomas of the Ground Watch IEG Delft Base Group. I will call out the names of the graduates one by one. I invite on the stage to make up a new way from Nigeria. Thank you. 
Uganda. Gumba Preco from Ghana. Pushpa <laughs> Hairani from Indonesia. of following and studying an Erasmus Master Program. We all have heard already about all the challenges that we have while pursuing these master programs. And we know that this academic journey is not easy, but it's really worth it. So it's especially really worth it because of all the experiences, not only in the professional level, but also in the personal level that you had. And now, Inspired by one of my colleagues, I will also to remind you that in the age of social media and the pressure to perform, a strain true to yourself is going to be one of your personal future beer challenges. So I would like to invite you to continue using the knowledge that you have to build a better society and to work towards achieving real sustainable ways of being. And now, on behalf of the Dresden, I would like to uh, congratulate our graduates, especially our Gramach graduates, and I will wish you a lot of success and happiness in your life. Thank you, Carmen. This is staying on stage. I would like to invite our rector and Tibor to join you in presenting the diplomas of Grand World Dresden Day School. I will now call out the graduates one by one. I invite on stage Asheka Zulfikar from Pakistan. from Bangladesh. <laughs> the 
gemeinsamen Schule von Bautista. from Bangladesh. <laughs> Maria Alejandra Vela Castillo from Colombia. Professor Rodrigo Oliveira from the University of Lisbon, Portugal, for a brief address. It's a pleasure to be here representing the Institutes Protected in the University of Lisbon. And uh, you have been uh, listening to very profound, inspirational words. And which are quite true, and uh, I wish also to end mine. So I have just two words. First of all, obviously, congratulations. You have all reached um, uh, a special occasion today. You have obtained a degree, uh, different degrees, uh, but this degree certified you to work towards a better future for to our ground watcher students. Uh, it was a pleasure to have you in Lisbon, and I hope. You, um, you were able to look life in a different way, in a southern, southern, way, uh, southern European way of living. The second work is uh, about uh, um, the future. I mean, water is uh, the crucial resource in the world. So you, are, you, are, you will have plenty of opportunity to make your mark and to, to work towards a better world. But in the meantime, never forget to enjoy yourselves. So in your way or in your life in the future, please always remember the words of John Lennon, that life is what happens when you are planning to do other things. So enjoy life and do your wonderful work that you have to do. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Oliveira, please join the stage. I would like to invite our rector and Tivo to join in to join you in presenting the diplomas to the Round Watch Lisbon Base Group. I invite on the stage Adeline Morin Alexander from Canada. James Mango from the United States of America. <laughs> the 
Emma May Simpson from Germany. your attention. They are still in the process of completing their program and they will need a bit more time before graduating and receiving their diplomas. We wish them the very best of luck as they complete the final step towards graduation. And I would like to invite on stage, one by one, Marco Falla from Italy. We send our best wishes and offer our applause. And I'd like to say congratulations to all Grand Watch graduates. Big applause. of the Imeter program. I would like to invite to the stage our next speaker, Professor Maria Kennedy, Professor of Water Treatment and Technology at IHDL for a short duration. Joint degree program 
relies heavily on a strong collaboration between IG Delft, the University of Chemistry and Technology in Prague in the Czech Republic, and Ghent University in Belgium. And we will hear from our colleagues in Prague and Ghent online in a few minutes. Before that, I would like to thank a few individuals who are instrumental in ensuring the success of the innovation program. Firstly, Jan van Fossenberg. Eric Mears and Philip Tuck from the University of Prague. Jan Dinsar and Jan Bartoszek from the University of Prague. And Jan from Student Affairs, Mariana. And also, also Yolanda Bowles from the Admissions. Mary, our Secretary of Arts Department. <laughs> really a team effort and would not have been possible without each and every one of you. In addition, I would also like to say the colleagues from the supporting departments at the University of Prague and Ghent, and of course the scientific departments as well, but specifically the supporting departments, deserve a special mention for their dedication to the success of the major program. Finally, Finally, on behalf of Jack and myself, I would like to congratulate our new Amasia graduates. We are very proud of each and every one of you. And we were, I would say, completely <coughs> shocked this morning at the morning session at the wide range of environmental issues that you all tackled in your NSC thesis degrees, spread all over the place in Prague, in the Netherlands, in Belgium. But we are extremely proud of you. Thank you all very much. Thank you very much, Maria. Please remain on stage, and I would like to invite our rector to join in presenting the diplomas. I will now call out the names of the graduates of the Mente del Place group, Y by one. I invite on stage Constanza Rosa from Argentina. Kelly Cotto from Costa Rica. Vietnam. 
congratulations to this group. Uh, we will now continue with our next speaker, Professor Philip Tuck from the Ghent University of Belgium. Although he cannot be with us in person, he will address the graduates online. Okay, you think you can see? Yeah, can I see you now? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay, so with all the technical issues, never are to be avoided. So, hello, even students, or should I already say, former students. Today is uh, the big day, indeed, you graduated from the IMITE program, an international Erasmus Plus master program. And that is quite an achievement. Congratulations to you all. So this master is in many ways challenging. The study load is high, and on top of that, you have to move every semester to the place. Someone starting the IMIT program must already be a strong person from the start. And so finishing successfully, you all have now become even stronger persons. You grew into international citizens of the world that feel right at home everywhere. We live in a world facing challenges, as the rector of EHE Delft already indicated earlier this afternoon. An environmental and climate crisis is actually ongoing. Forests are burning, glaciers are melting down, Extreme weather events are more frequent right now. Central Europe, unfortunately, is in the news with its heavy rains. More than ever, we need people like you, like you with your expertise and commitment to reverse this trend. It is people like you that give hope that slowly but steadily human development will be steered into a direction where it becomes sustainable, respecting the natural environment and thus ensuring that the world will remain a good place to live for many generations in the future. It was fun having you at Hent University and at the Faculty of Bioscience Engineering in particular. I hope you enjoyed Hent, similar as the other two beautiful places we have in our IMITE program, Delft and Prague. Congratulations from our staff at Hent, and in particular also from Verle Lambert, who you all know very well. She looked after you right from the first day to arri you arrived and helped you out during your stay. And also more formally, I would like to convey congratulations on behalf of our Vice-Chancellor, Professor Riet van der Wallen, and of the Dean of our Faculty, Professor Els van Damme. I am sure every single one of you will find his way and will make a difference. And I wish you all success in your future endeavors. Thank you very much. Besom ASC Fuad Amir Jordan. God of Tunisian Haiti. Kazakhstan. 
Marini Praise de la Luala Guruge Sri Lanka. Song he will address his students online. Perfect. Uh, so, dear students, um, let me also, on behalf of the UC Prague, to express my congratulations to you for concluding the program. Uh, I also congratulate to your parents, by the way, and your friends who supported you for, for the entire period. And, while you were traveling around, they for sure missed you. Uh, I realized it was quite challenging, not only academically, but as already Professor Tech mentioned, also for uh, these uh, personal challenges uh, which are connected uh, to the traveling around Europe, to adapting every six months to different culture and new cities and new facilities. Uh, but I, I'm absolutely uh, sure that it is worth it. Not only because you were trained at the three different institutions with great reputations in environmental technology, but also because you had the opportunity to appreciate different social environments and to maximize your international network that you will benefit from for the rest of uh, your professional career and I think also uh, personal life. Uh, I know that some of you plan to continue your studies or to start your professional career here in Europe and I think it's great for European community as uh, I know that you have become great professionals uh, who will advance the entire techno environment technology. And I know that from my personal experience, I regularly cooperate with IMED alumni, working both in academia and in business, and it's always great pleasure to meet familiar faces even after years. However, I also hope that many of you plan to go back to your home countries where you can make a really huge difference. We have heard here about all those uh, global challenges that uh, our world is facing, and it is more than clear that your expertise that you acquired in this program is extremely needed all over the world. 
With that, I want to wish you all the best in your final professional and personal life. And I hope uh, to keep meeting you every now and then at different occasions uh, to see your personal and professional development. It was really great work with you and I'm honored that I was part of your life. Uh, one thing that uh, I must not forget, I will have to express warm greetings from Jan Binzer and especially from Jana Vagnaczkova, who took care of uh, you while you were here in Prague and is also super happy for all of you today. Finally, I wish you to enjoy this day, uh, the great feeling of big achievement. I hope you will have a great party tonight, of course. And I don't say goodbye, but rather speak around. Thank you very much, Professor Martachet. I invite to the stage our Rector Eddie Morrison, Dr. Schack van der Bosenberg, to do the honors of handing out the diploma of the Mater Prague Bay School. I will call now are the names of the graduates. I invite on stage the Mikbade Lugman Adetunyi from Nigeria. before graduating and receiving your diploma, we wish you the very best of luck as you complete the final steps towards your graduation. Big applause. <laughs> and congratulations to all in the same graduates. Especially for making sure that you receive your diploma. 
Thank you very much. And now a very, very important word of caution for all the graduates. Please take care of your diplomas. <laughs> because they cannot be replaced or duplicated. Please keep them with you or in a safe place at all times, including my party. We therefore strongly advise you to make a photocopy and a PDF of your diploma and diploma supplement for safe keeping. Now, I would like to give the floor back to our director, Professor Eddie Morse, for his closing words. So let me start by uh, congratulating uh, all of you. Uh, not, not only, I think, uh, our, our uh, former students, um, I would also like uh, to thank all the, the family. Um, I would like to so contact you about what we allow us to so all the people that were behind uh, actually the teams working at the administration, making sure that everything was arranged uh, very well, uh, travel, uh, financing, everything. It's always a lot of work that you don't see. But I would like to also express my thanks to all of them uh, at ICDL, but also at our partner institutions. I would also like, uh, actually, maybe on behalf of uh, all the former students, uh, to thank all the people sitting up front here who uh, did a lot of work in trying to uh, convince you that you had to believe what they're telling you. And um, I'm asking you uh, to, to be a little bit careful there and there. Uh, I hope that we also go to a nice time, but I would like to read a few sentences to you because uh, I think it's important uh, that you work in a way, and I think it has been expressed in different ways already, but just to make sure that it sinks in quite strongly, because I think it's important, and uh, I will explain why I think it's so important. So, with and, uh, your diploma, and you, you get rights, people will look at you, and they will follow you, they will believe what you're telling them. But it also means that you get certain responsibilities. So I do hope that uh, with um, your, your uh, duties that you will pick up, and your degree that you receive, that you will also become a scientist. And that you will execute your future work in an ethical way. And that means that you should also follow the code of conduct. We have a code of conduct here in the Netherlands, but that code of conduct is sometimes a little bit different, but in most lines it's completely the same, also works in other areas. And I'm telling you that uh, because uh, if you uh, look at the work of scientists, uh, more and more it becomes uh, more difficult. One is that people don't always believe what the scientist is saying. I think it's really not about belief, but it's actually about evidence. So you're providing evidence, and that evidence you should provide in a good way, in an ethical way. And I think with that evidence, uh, you can help our society actually to make a step forward. So I think also with AI and with other techniques that are coming into place, it becomes sometimes more difficult actually to do that in an ethical way. So again, I think it's good that you're now a scientist and contributing to what we're doing, that you also do that in a way that you think fits with your norms and ethical standards that are there. With that, I would like to really thank the partners because I really strongly believe in a partnership. This is a partnership about universities. And I think what you heard today from everybody here is that's now also about the partnership between you and that you uh, can work together to do, I think, what you want to do. And I'm quite sure that that's part of the leadership that you will show. And just as an example from Indonesia very recently, there is the new water envoy from the United Nations and I think not everybody can become a water envoy, but everyone can become a leader in his own way. And that's leadership that you will use in your professional life, but I also hope that you will use it in the society, community that you're living in, and also in the family that you're part of. And I hope that you will also help us as IG and others to do that as well. Talking about partnerships and celebrations, I think it's time uh, to do that. Um, there's one more thing that we would like to ask you, and we would like to take a picture with you together. Maria Lauer will help us doing that. But I also hope that you enjoy a very, very nice evening, but also, like others said as well, I think uh, a really, really good future. And I think uh, I count myself lucky that I've met you. Thank you very much.
Thank you. Thank you very much, Eddie. This concludes the official part of our program of today. I would like to invite all graduates for, to follow the cortege for the final group picture all together in front of IH Delft. And of course, everyone in the audience to join as we continue celebrating at IH Delft restaurant. Thank you very much and congratulations one more.